that's me a little bit too far away. Today I am at the Noah's Ark Encounter near Williamsburg, Kentucky. I'm trying to get different uh, backgrounds for each reading of William Grinnell's Christian in Complete Armor, Volume 1. This is reading 9. And the scenery today is just going to be people walking by, by the ark. Reading 9, I'm still in Chapter 1. Um, where we are here. Uh, just watch the scenery go by for a few minutes here. The nature of God's plan. of God's plan. There it is right there. We're on page 38. The nature of God's plan. Alright. The third reason for relying on God's strength resides in the nature of his saving and keeping plan. God made it his priority to bring the saints to heaven in a way which would be a constant reminder of his love and mercy. He is a wise father who knows the flighty temperament of even his most obedient children. So he thinks to help them by visiting the elephant and tucking in their empty hands and this or that's great. Let me read that again. So he thinks to help them by visiting often, often and tucking in their empty hands this or that grace just when it is needed most. This way of communicating gives a double accent to his love and mercy. It reminds us of the true source of all blessing and assures that our needs can always be met. When you find any comfort in your soul, any added strength in duty, or any support in temptation, it distills a special sweetness into your life to consider what friends sent these blessings. They do not come from your own supply or anyone else's. It is the Heavenly Father who slips quietly in and leaves the sweet perfume of his comfort. It is his kind spirit that holds your head and calms your heart while the trial rages within. It is his pungent fragrance that keeps you from fainting in unbelief. That what soul, thus comforted, could be a moment could be could for a moment doubt the love and concern of such a parent. I ask you, which friend loves you more? The one who, hearing you are in need, promptly writes out a check, puts it in the mail, and considers his obligation to you paid in full? Or the one who drops everything, comes to your house, and does not leave until he's satisfied that your needs have been cared for? But he's not through yet. He keeps coming back. He's not through yet. He keeps coming back until the crisis is completely passed. Unless you are too proud to face your benefactor or love money above all else, you must certainly prefer the comfort of the second. God is the latter friend. He comes to our hearts, checks the cupboards, sees how bare they are, and sends provisions accordingly. Your Heavenly Father knows you have need of these things. And you shall have them, as Matthew 6, 32 and 33. He knows you need strength to pray, to hear, to suffer for him. Trust him to keep your pantry well stocked. God chooses this method to assure our strength will never be in short supply. If the provisions were left in our own hands, we would soon be bankrupt merchants. God knows we are weak, like cracked pitchers. If filled to the brim and set aside, the contents would soon leak out. So he puts us under a flowing fountain of his strength and constantly refills us. This was the provision he made for Israel in the wilderness. He split the rock, and not only was their thirst quenched at that moment, but the water ran in a stream after them, so that you, you hear no more complaints for water. This rock was Christ. Every believer has Christ at his back, following him as he goes with strength for every condition and trial. 
you don't know about this Ark Encounter, that's a full-size replica of the Ark described in Genesis. It's about 510 feet long. It's got three levels inside and a, like a canopy thing up on top. It's probably the equivalent of five or six stories high. And like I said, 510 feet long. I think the number was something like it was either 47, 5,700 animals that uh, were in there, and it has compartments for all of them. Uh, it's a big place. Uh, it just you know, that's what God saved the earth with. Saved what the life on earth when He destroyed it because of sin. And I want to thank you, Father, for all you've given us, and uh, we'll see you next time.